morning, everyone. Uh, it's always nice to be the first presenter at the conference. Okay. Uh, so my name is Khaled Hassan, and I am a PhD candidate at the University of Manitoba. And today I'm going to present the paper titled Thumbs Up 3D Special Thumb Reachable Space for 100 Thumb Interaction on Smartphones. So my co-authors are uh, Zwan Ho Kim and Dr. Porang Irani from University of Manitoba and Dr. David Armstrong from Alpen Adria University, Austria. So I would like to start with a, uh, start with showing an image uh, for this presentation. So in this image, you can see that at least three person is using mo their mobile phone with one hand. So like people commonly use mobile with one hand uh, in such situation when their other hand is busy with holding any objects, as you can see in this image. And also a recent study on 1,333 people uh, like results showed that uh, like 49 percent of that population use mobile phone or smartphone with one or like with one hand and so on so it seems to me that the one handed mobile interactions are very common or very popular but when people use mobile phone with one hand thumb is the only in, uh, finger available for touch inter in interaction so as you can see here so researcher already uh, like showed that like there are several limitations for such one-handed interaction. So one of the very common limitation is reachability. So the idea is uh, it's hard. Like when actually you are holding your phone with one hand, it's hard to reach the items that are located uh, at the top region and so on. The second very common uh, limitation for one-handed interaction is um, limited multi-touch interaction capability. So basically, uh, multi-touch interaction, you need multiple fingers. But when you are holding the phone with one hand, only one thumb is available and so on. And the last one is very common occlusion problem. So items get occluded with thumb and so on. Also, researchers propose different solutions to overcome um, uh, such limitations and so on. But uh, um, there are very few work on how to extend the thumb's capability, thumb's cap capability when holding the phone with the same hand and so on. So I would like to quickly, uh, quickly mention about a different area, which is called around device interaction. So the idea of around device interaction is you can imagine a virtual interactive place just around your mobile phone, and you can uh, access an on-screen item by just simply pointing on that space. So uh, though, the on, uh, though the iron device interaction has widely been explored for mobile and wearable devices, but uh, there are no pure work that actually focus on how to use the uh, thumb in air space that is reachable via thumb. So in this paper, our contribution, the first contribution is thumbs up space. So thumbs up space is the in air space just above the device that can be reachable via thumb. And the second contribution is we explore different solutions, how to use this thumbs up space to overcome very well, uh, like the commonly uh, seen limitation for one-handed interaction, such as reachability, limited multi-touch inter interaction, and occlusion problem. Okay, so, so to get the thumbs up input space or to define the region, so what we did basically, first conduct a user study. Uh, we used Vicon tracking system, which is a like commercial motion capture system. We, we use the Vicon motion capture system to get the thumb movement at, like around the phone. So we, we actually place a set of marker on the phone as well as on, uh, like on a ring, and we ask the participants to wear that ring. So basically, uh, like, these two, like the Vicon motion capture and this uh, set actually give us the thumb, thumb movement like, around, uh, like just above the device. So here, like when actually we were, we were running pilot studies, we found that when people use the touch screen, they also use the in-air space just above the touch screen. For instance, here when the user is panning a map, so he reached his maximum thumb limit and then lift off his finger like just around the device, uh, like just above the device, and then uh, move his finger back to the original location and then start, uh, uh, tap on the touch screen and start panning again. So this basically motivates us to De, uh, like divide the total space into two, uh, like total in-air space into two subspace. So the first in-air space we called touch space, which should be re reserved for touch interaction. And the second one is the remaining space that we call thumbs up space. Okay, so we actually recruited total 12 right-handed participants and we, uh, like during the experiment, there were two tasks. The first task is map navigation, which actually we used to um, define the thumbs, uh, touch space, and the second one was the space filling operation, which we use for thumbs up space. So uh, like I'm going to explain that one in detail now. 
So here in the video, you can see that map navigation, this is kind of a very standard map navigation task where we ask the participant to navigate the map between two familiar points. And for the space filling task, we ask the participant to move their finger from left to right and right to left, and at the same time, gradually, by, by gradually increasing the height of the finger so that we could define the maximum reachable space and so on. So our results reveal that with touch space, the participant, when actually they are doing the map navigation task, they uh, move their finger up to uh, 18 millimeter with left hand and 19 millimeter with right hand. And for thumbs up space, we found that participants on an average move 57 millimeter with their uh, left hand and uh, 63 millimeter with their right hand. So here you can see the number is like there's a big, big difference. So it seems to me all the participants were right-handed participants. So they, they were more comfortable moving their thumb with uh, like right thumb than the left thumb and so on. And there's the corresponding 3D shape uh, for left hand and right hand with touch space and uh, thumb space. And we also actually printed a 3D shape. Uh, I already have that uh, shape. So like, if you would like to see that shape, uh, like I'd be happy to show you this model uh, like during the conference break and so on. So it seems to me it's a like, huge volume just above the touch space. So basically, that actually gives us some inspiration to explore how to solve the limitations that I mentioned uh, um, uh, like at, the be at the beginning of my presentation. So that's why we conducted a like, workshop. So basically, what we did, we recruited eight HCI students who has like who have um, uh, like interface design experience and so on. And we asked them to use the thumbs up space to design different solutions for reachability, limited multi-touch interaction, and occlusion problem. So these are the three uh, very well documented problem for one-handed inter interaction. Now, we actually collected total 26 design for reachability uh, one, and I'm now going to show you all of these designs with you. So the very, uh, like very common approach was place the uh, farthest item or the non-reachable item in that particular space, in the thumbs up space. So basically they mentioned that yes, like one idea could be just use the thumbs up space and place all of this icon, unreachable icon, and then user can access an item by simply pointing to that item. The second approach was kind of a use a bent surface. So basically uh, like they are uh, just a band, like on that band, band surface, different un unreachable item will be placed and so on. The second category was actually direction-based. Uh, so the direction-based means here the thumb direction is act as a like pointer, uh, like a um, ray casting pointer. And then the distance actually, like in one case, uh, like on the left uh, side where direction, like in direction and height, basically the height actually defines the distance of this uh, highlighted item. So if your height is higher, then actually you could reach the farthest item and so on. And this, in second case, uh, we used a dual timer. So the idea is if you have a long dual timer, in a, then actually you could reach the farthest item. Short dual timer would, like, would give you the flexibility to reach the uh, closest item and so on. And we also, f uh, like, like, a few participants mentioned that use a virtual joystick. So you can imagine a joystick just above the mobile phone, and you could uh, move your finger in left and right to control and uh, or highlight an item and so on. And also, uh, like we found, uh, gesture-based uh, like interaction was very common. So basically, to reach an uh, unreachable item or the items that are located at the top, uh, like you can actually uh, move all of these items with different hand gestures, such as like. Uh, thumb bending or with a quick left to right or right to left hand movement and so on. So these are the solutions that, uh, like that are proposed for re reachability issue. And now I'd like to show you like, what you found for multi-touch inter interaction, solution for multi-touch in interaction. So um, like one of the common approach was a pie menu based approach, where uh, if uh, the thumb moves to the thumbs up space, then a pie menu will be displayed on the screen uh, with corresponding functionalities. As you can see here, like zoom in and zoom out, map zoom in and zoom out. And if a user moves um, his thumb uh, like to that particular position, then that uh, like action will be performed and so on. And also, uh, like a few participants mentioned about dual gesture. Dual gesture is kind of using two gesture, like either in sequential or parallel. For instance, like a uh, horizontal movement followed by a vertical movement for a pen, uh, map panning and zooming actions and so on. Uh, also, we uh, found that continue, like participant proposed continuous gesture where con like continuously uh, like moving finger in clockwise or counterclockwise direction would perform a 
uh, like would map to a certain action such as uh, map panning and so on. And this is very similar to uh, the solution proposed by uh, Chris Harrison in his Air Plus Touch uh, paper. Uh, so basically the idea is kind of a gesture will start from in-air space and then land uh, to the touch screen or vice versa and uh, different uh, actions will be mapped accordingly and so on. And the gestures could be like complex gestures such as a lasso gesture uh, starting from in-air and uh, like and in the touch screen and so on. And for occlusion problem we found uh, like three very common solutions proposed by the participants. So basically we can see like or like we can say that the touch screen space can be uh, sorry the thumbs up space can be divided into two one just above the mobile phone and another is uh, like kind of uh, um, just on the side of the mobile phone so like we can say this is kind of the extended thumbs up space so participant frequently mentioned that uh, put the items into the extended thumbs up space to uh, um, like avoid the occlusion issues and so on the second one is kind of they, like we already showed this one. Uh, this kind of using a bent surface to uh, place the items, uh, so that like participant mentioned that yes, there is a good chance that in that case you will get less occlusion. And the last one is kind of use an offset. So basically, instead of using a one-to-one -one mapping between your finger position and the selected item, uh, like an offset can be int introduced so that uh, the highlighted item could be uh, accessed from um, uh, the uh, um, outside area. So these are actually the different uh, design solution that we actually collected uh, from the participant. Okay, so um, to to summarize the paper, so our contribution is actually uh, to uh, uh, like the first one is the thumbs up, uh, that is the in air space that is reachable via thumb uh, of the hand holding the device, and the second is we actually explore different solutions to um, address the reachability, limited multi touch interaction, and occlusion problem. Okay, uh, so, so so thank you very much for your uh, like patience sharing. Uh, yeah, I would like to uh, stop now, and uh, I would like to take questions from you. Thank you. Any other questions? Password. Okay, let's thank the speaker again.